Howdy, cowboys and cowgirls. Olive Racing here, bringing you some more Red Dead Redemption single player, a trusted friend in hand, episode 3. Hello. But let's go ahead. And if you haven't seen episode 2, go back and watch that. We got back in the saddle, we cleared out Pike's Basin, saved the hostages so they seem to live another day and do some more. Cattle rustling. Uh, so meanwhile, we're, we're still with the Red Dead. Also, before I get started, I want to say that I've brought a few things since the last episode in between then and there. So I got myself... Uh, I, I, uh, I got this. Display all town settlement landmarks and hideouts in Colossus Rings. Allows fast travel from camp, which is useful, and gap to bridge. And it's pretty much the same thing, but different location. And this enables us to clear the map a bit more. So we're going to use that right now. And... Yep, two. And, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, so, now if we go on the map... We can, like, you know, use this place. We, we know where, like... Stuff is, I guess. Um, yeah, you discovered all that I was in Color Springs. But that's not the only thing I brought. I also brought this rabbit's foot. Which makes you lucky, which increases the items and money you loot by 20%. So that would be quite helpful. As you know, I love to loot and we need some good stuff as we progress in the game. So I'm going to be getting a stock of rabbit foot. Kind of an odd thing to say, but I thought I would show you that nonetheless. But anyway, we're going to now see our good friend, Bonnie McFarlane. Thank you for stopping by. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarlane? Yes, from Lee Johnson, to settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Okay, Bonnie. Miss McFarland. I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, and trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but... I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. What a dilemma. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. What a predicament has Marston got himself into. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were... Well... Let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her... Well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and... ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. 
Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Alright. That looks like the direction we're heading, ladies and gentlemen. So, we got to discover a bit of John Marston's sordid past. And, like, you wouldn't know that if you don't, like, listen to the cutscenes. I like leaving the cutscenes in, because people like listening to because... Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Uh, I guess ready as I ever be to herd some cows. Ugh. Man, I don't like herding cows. <laughs> but anyway, we gotta do it. Back there. It must have been hard for you. Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... They're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Control that horse, will ya? Whoa, you, you like you to... Oh, okay. Ah, that. okay. Easy now. But yeah, so... Um, during the last episode, we still haven't got a name for our horse. We need a name Easy for our now. trusty horse. Now I'm gonna leave that to you guys in the comments. Alright, so... Oh, whoa, 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 cows, alright. Come on, cows. Uh... Uh, what do you think I'm trying to do? Why can't I lead them? Oh, dear. Ooh. There we go. There's still the uh, move right and left, still right. Alright, so. Come on. But they should stop be going left. Because if I, like, sprint, I right around them, then they get confused, so. There we go. Bad horse. There we go. Oh. oh, and there's more cows. You must be mooing mad. Oh, man. Alright, alright. So, let's go. Let's look at the herd. All right, mate, and you are, hello. I don't think we've been introduced. Howdy, mister. Keep him going. One time to control that horse, Bonnie. Look, look, look at you. Like, trying to cut me up and intercept me and all that. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that Whoa. or you're a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. A cow in a past life. Lovely. So that, that was it. Lovely, lovely. So let's go back to Bonnie. Bonnie McFarlane. See what else she's got for us. Since hers is closer to the other person who we've yet to meet. But I'm sure he'll attack here. Very short there. And there we go. Oh, here we go. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Likewise. Please. So... My daughter informs me that 
You're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. No man should I ever have to do that, old woman. With her die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. No point. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Huh? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. There's a lot of cloak and dagger. Well, with the government interference. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> this man's got a sense of humor. Alright then. So I'm a decent rider. So I've been told. Back on the saddle we go. You're gonna need this, <gasps> Marston. A trusted friend in hand. It's the right. it's the thing. Now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see We've what we got our lasso. Or... Thank you, Bonnie. You don't know how much Whoa. that means to me. Yeah. Probably one of the best things in Red Dead Redemption is the ability to lasso. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Drew, Drew McVarn, please. Please lead, um, lead the way. But... We got our lasso. Sure some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret that sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston. He's right. Now. I don't know much well, about we politics. Kind of do that. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. <laughs> Poor Bonnie, Power's just like try to not get discussed in politics. Just there's enjoy the ride. Men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Me neither. Bonnie's like the voice of reason, and Drew's like... Uh, uh, how do I put... He won't hold back, he's relentless. But, um, oh, we got our lasso. Whoop! Okay, I thought we were gonna get off. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, we got our lasso. Stuff is about to go down. We got a horse, we got a horse. Anyway. Yep. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Giddy up! Giddy up! I love this! It's like buckaroo! Whoop! Whoop! Come on! Come on! Not only can we lasso horses, we can then go on to lassoing people. I love it. Try and spook. Oh! He's he spooking me! Look at him! He's, this one's a wild one! Woo! There we there go. Look at that. Yeah. We'll make a cowboy out of you yet. Okay. Um. Go. Jacob, you get back up 
Oh. I think it's an effectivity for old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. We've got a lasso. Let's get this one. Yeah. Whoa, let's go. That's it. Giddy up, giddy up. Come on. Spur me on, guys. Come on. Cheer for me. Let's do it. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Relax now. Nearly there. Come on! Yeah, we go. Oh, some water would have been nice, Miss McFarlane or Bonnie, as you prefer to be called. Come on! So we learned that some of you might already know John Boston has a wife. He has a son. He did have a daughter, and he's living to protect them. Indeed it is. Life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. <laughs> Whoa. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to go all the way to Armadillo. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. Indeed, yeah. ma'am. No rest for the wicked. Let's go. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's <laughs> not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of chief governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never Ooh. admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. That is a compliment. <laughs> uh. In many ways. My wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. That's kind of true. We don't seem to talk, but we've only just started opening up to Miss McFarland. Bonnie, if you will. And we got our boys. We got some people. Look at this. Look at this. Cavalry has arrived. All right, let's get up. Come on, come on. Come. Can, can we not go any faster? Oh, well, we do look cool though. Look at this. Got our own little posse system going on. We got, we got Clark, uh, we got Clive on the left and right. I don't know the names, I didn't just make up. Uh, we got this random guy from behind. I'm gonna call him Parents. <laughs> So we got, uh, we got three, four, five people. All right. Let's go. Out and here's the horses. Oh, so I'm guessing I'm gonna be doing the work again. So here we go. Oh, giddy up, giddy up. Let's get this one. Yeah, let's get this one. We all know why we want this one, right? Oh wow! Come on. <laughs> Went around in circles on me. Get back here! Get back here! What? Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I have... Yep, wow. Okay. I thought, like, because it... I had to get on them last time. Alright, I have to lead the herd. Oh, man. So I gotta get... That's why. I... <laughs> oh, it never hurts to try out the lasso. What? Uh, 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 oh, there's... Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. No, 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 you're going the wrong way. Ah, uh, dear. There we go. That's what we gotta do. Is ah, here we go. Here we go. No, stop. Come on. Go. Come on. Easy. Get them in the line. Go get... No, go to the right. Go to Let's the go. right. We're going to the right. You need to go to the left, horses. You need to go to the left. Forward. Keep them going forward. I like the feature of this, but at the same time I don't. Like, it's frustrating at times, but it's good. It's a different. No, no. Um. Oh, oh. Come on. God. And it, oh, this is so tedious. Okay, okay. Yeah, horse, join the group, join the group, quick, quick. Come on, go on. Stay together, you dumb animals. Come on. Whoop. Whoa there. What's that horse doing? Going around the rock like that. Oh. Okay, Oh. Come on, turn. Yeah, straight down there now. Woo. Get going, come on. Come on. Come no. Oh. There we go. Because I forgot about this bit. Looks like we got the lot of them. What magnificent animals they are. And that guy got on somehow, and now he got buckled off, and that's why I need to lasso it. You should have just let me lasso it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Up. Yep. Let's get my lasso out. Trusted friend in hand, we got the stallion, we're chasing the stallion. Come on, running to get the stallion. Come on. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't be like this now. Come on. Yeah, got ya, boy. And now giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Oh, giddy up. Relax now, nearly there. Come on. Can we do this? Can we do this? Come on. Do it. We're doing it. We're nearly done it. Come on. I got you now. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 there we go, oh. This is nice. There we go. Hello, Bonnie. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. Much obliged. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Isn't he a beaut? Come on! There we go, we've got ourselves a new horse. We've got, you have broken the Kentucky Salah, a rare and agile horse. Okay, let's push it. Oh. That's good. But... I didn't ask for this. I prefer my war horse. It's a three star and I think the Kentucky one is a two star. Special dark brown horse, a light mane, faster and stronger than normal. Go free until we meet again. Kentucky style here. We have parted ways. So now, 
Where? I hear wolves. Oh, and I just realized we're also by a hanging rock, you know, where that missing boy was. Let's go. Oh, we got our lasso. Friend, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. We have got... Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey, mate! Don't worry, we're gonna help you. We're gonna help you. Put this to good use. Actually, I don't know. Did this man steal the horse back? What's your story? I don't know. I just saw you steal it. And the man was chasing you. There we go. Oh. You've been a bad person. I think judging by the speed you're getting away from. Ah, uh, come on. Comfortable? We're gonna return you to jail, sir. We're gonna leave you by the police station. The sheriff's station. For those Western people. I don't know, but all I saw was a man running away. I mean, if someone's, um, I don't know what happened here, but I know that this guy was getting away awfully fast and he hijacked him. But anyway. Uh, here we go. I'm at the sheriff's station. Wait a minute. There's a man sitting there. Hey, buddy. What? Mister. She's gone. What? Who is? My wife. She's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills near Hanging Rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made mm. me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Poor man. So first a woman's boy, and then there's a man's girl. I'm not sure. Like I think it was meant to be his like you know wife or little girl. But anyway, so let's see. Yep. Look at this. If you haven't seen last episode, then you wouldn't know what we're talking about. But there, a boy was missing, and it was in near enough the same location. We could check it out. We could be doing our good deed. We're helping the man out. Come on. Moro. Moro. I don't know. You still need a name for a horse. But look at it. It's coming back. Look how fast it is. Oi. Look at that. It's wasting no time. Giddy up. Oh. So it's going to be up here. The sheriff's department doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, they're taking action, I guess. They have got him to fill out a complaint. They at least acknowledged him this time. The woman's little boy, they didn't seem to acknowledge, but they're not pursuing it. You know, they're not pushing it much as they need to. But that's why we're, you know, job master. Oh! Oh, damn. Oh, there's an arm. Oh. There's an arm. Last time there was a bone. Oh, now there's an arm. Um. Yeah, um. I think I'm gonna leave them at. We don't know if we can do any more investigating, but oh, jeez. So, Whoa. 
I'm gonna go, go to the campfire. And we're gonna travel to destination. Go to Armadillo. Now go get a good night's sleep after this. Hard for rest. Whoop. So let's go to bed. Make sure we save again. Now it's a brand new morning, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. So now we're gonna go to where we're gonna go. All the way to this place, meet a new friend, Mr. Nigel West Dickens. It's gonna happen. So, we're gonna take this way. Um,. So let's plan. Yeah, we're gonna go through Coots Chapel. There's another. Oh. What's happened, Miss? Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Yeah. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller, you remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Oh, what did Please, I get myself sir. into? Something must have happened. I can't bear it. <laughs> so you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes. Please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh, uh, Mouse, okay. Alright. Uh, no promises, but talk to him, uh... Ah, uh, Just to get that up. Uh... Colonel. Miss uh, Horlick has asked you to look for her soon-to-be husband, Peter thinks she... Might be at the saloon in Armadillo. Talk to the musicians. All right. So that's Miss Horlick. Um. Anyway, we're gonna go look through the Cooch Chapel. It's supposed to be her big day, and then I don't think it looks like anyone. I think he might be there a while. Um. Yeah, guys, I agree. Um. But anyway, we're gonna go through there. Nothing. Didn't find him. In the round. Oh, we're back to Nigel West Dickens. I did I do that. I guess it's the goodness of me. Marston trying to be the good guy. Not get caught up in a life of bad. He's had enough of being bad. He's trying to turn over a new leaf. If you will. Trying to turn a new chapter. Oh. What's happened here? Oh. Old Swindler Blues. Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? 
<laughs> you look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise it's like sunbathing. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Uh, I could have told you that. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? You tell him, Martin. Come on. Uh, let's take control. The closest doctor is in Armadillo. Uh, okay. Let's draw a weapon out. Oh dear, no, 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 we got some more gunfire, first time, getting some gunfire. Oh, I was shot. That was! Oh, his health down. It's dropping down rapidly. We go again. Yeah, move on. Come on. Accelerate. Come on. Horses. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. Good God. Oh, headshot. Yeah. That's. Oh, I can see the town. What? I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. Shut your blabbing. Come on, let's ride. Shut your blubber, blubber. Your flubber, flubber, blubber. Come on, man. Just be quiet. Enjoy the journey. Get a free ride out of it. And you'll live longer. The result, look at that. I was hardly even tested. time has come. Yeah, I embrace you. For Christ's sake, man, you're going to be fine. Is that for you? Be into your arms. This is it. You're going to make it. Isn't it funny that we got shot and we got sent here. Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. And now we're returning this you, fine chap. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. I try. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for for Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Yeah. You're you're my man for being a human child? <laughs> Maybe. Um But while that guy's gonna heal up, we're not quite ready to call it an episode just yet. We're gonna go to the saloon. And then we're going to find out about this missing woman's husband, Pete, I believe. Hey, Pete! Anyone here? Call Pete! Talk to the magician. Alright. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. Looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, what she said. You ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Uh-oh. Well, let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. 
Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now you'll need more than talk with that bitch. Hey, man, have respect for the lady. There is nobody here who's better than Pay the five dollars. Or speak to Rosa. Hmm. What shall we do, Leon? We don't know why he broke up, and the five dollars, he, he doesn't seem to have much respect for her. I'm, I'm gonna pay him the five dollars. I normally don't, don't like to pay out stuff like this, but, but Here, on this occasion, this might loosen your tongue. buy yourself Look another this. drink. Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella, you know. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, <laughs> what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fellas Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I guess. All right, so this Odd Fellas Rest place is there. Okay, all right. Let no man put a sender. So it turns out this guy might have been, um, like he said, gay, or, well, he said queer, fellow. So, I mean, I don't know if that's one of the times it seems happy back then, I don't know, but anyway, he hasn't been seen in there for 20 days. I, I think, I, I got a feeling that woman... Let's find out. We're about to find out. What do you think has happened? <laughs> I bet some of you already know, and Oliver, like, why are you doing this? <laughs> but we're gonna find out. For the sake of history, for documentation purposes, oh, we are going to find out what happened to this Pete Turner, I believe. His name was. This place looks deserted. Oh. Old fellow's rest. Um. All right. Uh. Wait a minute. Um. What's going on? This guy running? I don't know. What's going on? Whoa, what's going on? Every time I look away, there's gunfire. But, Pete uh, Turner. I love to miss his amaholic. Killed by a blow to the head. You'll never dance with another. Ladies and gentlemen, it turns out that her husband, Pete Turner, rest in soul, has died. And she's gonna not ever know the truth what happened. Either she does, but she's in denial. But that's it for that quest. And that is gonna be it for this video. You've just watched Red Dead Redemption, Friends, Indeed, episode 3 so don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to comment what you thought and what you think it's gonna happen next time and if you're new and you haven't already for whatever reason hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell icon on and don't go anywhere never miss an episode and i've been elevation and i will see you in the next video bye bye thanks for watching